Okay, that's the second one. Oh, fiberglass. Oh, it's such a disgusting thing to work with, but it makes such beautiful stuff, such strong stuff. Oh, I think I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I've got this set up here. There's a pole coming through there into there, and then a pole coming through into here. To hold it in a good position, I should be able to get all my fiberglass on there. Then, I will not have this part fiberglass. So hopefully if I keep that clean, I can pick it up by there and move it aside while I get the other one of these in here and do the other one. Oh, I'm definitely not getting any video of the fiberglassing operation. It's just so messy. I'll end up <laughs> covering the camera in fiberglass. All right. Here's how it basically goes. I cut that into pieces that will fit, like wrap around here and then some pieces that will wrap around here and then here and I'll just keep going through the whole thing until I have pieces that will fit on every part. <clears throat> and then I'll go get a gallon of fiberglass resin, polyester resin I have right over there. <sighs> Mix them up with its hardener, use a roller and just start putting those fiberglass rectangles on there. It sounds so simple and it's I'm going to I'm going to try not to make a mess. But I'm going to put Vaseline on my hands before I start because that makes it a little bit easier to get the polyester resin off my hands at the end. Oh, this is going to be so good when it's finished. Oh, not my favorite thing. I can oh, doing fiberglass is so gross. And doing fiberglass on something that's like kind of like complicated shape like this. Oh, it's so messy. But maybe I can do it not messy. I, 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 can, I can do it not messy. All right, let's, let's focus on that. Not messy. All right, I got both of these fools done. And you know what? I do not enjoy working with fiberglass. I, I already knew that, but just, whoa. Today I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. This sometimes have, happens after it's been raining for a while. And then the sun comes out, because while it's raining, I'm like, Okay, I need to do this and this and this and this and that, but I can't do it until the sun comes out. And then the sun comes out and it's like, oh, I can do everything! But I'm only one guy, I can only do one thing at a time. So I need to just, you know, chill out, prioritize my things, figure out what my next task is, and just go through them one at a time. Yeah. Hmm, well, I think I'm gonna get on these suckers. They look like they. Oh, pretty good. Ah, oh, still a little sticky. Ah. Oh, actually, it's good that it's a little sticky because I want to put a bit of extra fiberglass around these corners. Because when I wrap this around, you know, this side gets overlapped like crazy, but the corner ends up a little thinner. So I want to put a little, you know, just a little <clears throat> kind of kneecaps on all of them. Uh, this log here fell out of a tree yesterday. And it's full of ants. So, uh, I'm cooking them. Anyway, what do I do next here? Those things are looking pretty good. And I, I think they're pretty much ready. You know, I want to put the little kneecaps on them. But after that, it's just connect it to the other piece before I do the paddle wheel and, you know, get all the bearings on and stuff. Oh, get out of the smoke. But to, to connect the two pieces, First, I have to build the frame they're going to go on, put the bearings on that, then put them in the frame so they're lined up right. And to make sure that the four different pieces, the four different bearings are lined up on the frame straight, I have this here pipe, which is the same diameter as the bearings. So I guess I need to make, so I have four bearings here and one set of pedals goes here, paddle wheel here, and another set of bearings, uh, pedals here. Obviously these will be farther apart. So I need to build a frame that has a, you know, a rectangle all the way around. Do, 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 do. And the rectangle will connect that one and that one. And then from the rear piece and the front piece of the rectangle, something has to go through there and through there to connect those two guys. And then they'll all be held in the right position, just with pieces going that way so that it's open through here for the pedals and open through here for the paddle wheel and then the pedals again. Right. Well, yeah, kind of like that. 
Let me get a thing here. And a good piece going across here. And then more or less. Okay, 62 noodle units across, 39 imperial noodle units that way. I guess I'll just start with that, start with the rectangle. Then I'll get those pieces in and figure out where exactly they go. And I am thinking I can use some of this beautiful stuff, like... like yeah, like that. Some of those. I'll have to make sure the pieces going from the front to the back are strong enough that I can, you know, push on them pretty hard with my legs. The pieces across the back and the front, though, they're going to be resting on something, so they don't need to be as strong. So maybe I, the front and the back is just one layer, and then the pieces that go from from the front to the back have it, you know, one of these and then another one here. So it's rectangle box tube. Does that sound good to your brains, Jamie? I think that sounds all right. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. Oh, you know what? The front and the back piece I can make out of this. This is stronger because it's almost like an I-beam. It's got, you know, it's got the, the piece here, but then it also comes out here. So it's actually stronger. And the reason I don't want to box tube the front and the back piece is because if I don't do that, then I can, you know, attach the other pieces inside here. But if this is box tube, then it's harder to attach them. So yeah, this, this will be good because it has a thicker side here. So that'll be nice and strong. Oh well, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Well, this is going to be kind of cool having a pedal thing that's a self-contained unit. Because then I could take it off and put it on another boat. Maybe whenever I want pedal power, I just have to leave that sized hole in the boat. And then I can use the same pedal power in different boats. Yeah, I should just make this a standard sized pedal power thing. Maybe I'll make another one at some point and they could just interchange. Yeah, this is a great idea. Cut two of these first. I'm just going to use the hacksaw, my, my crappy hacksaw. This is the worst hacksaw ever. Then I want to use an angle grinder, even though it's a lot faster, it'll spit up all kinds of fiberglass dust. Okay, two of those. 62 noodle units tall, that's about just over five feet. Looks about right. And I hear a storm coming. It feels like it's going to rain. Crap! What do I have to do? You have to go in and just play mech warrior or something all day. No, I need to get some stuff done. Why is the world, why is the world being rainy? Maybe it's just some wind gonna blow by. All right, maybe I can hurry up and at least get a bit more of this done. Uh, hmm, what do I do with these? Yeah, if it's gonna rain, I need to put these somewhere inside. I don't know, I'll just lean it against the table for now. Good enough. Ow! Son of a Fine, we're back to rain. Man, come on, man, stop raining. Hey world, can you, can you give me a raise a little bit? Oh, I need a big workshop right over there where I can work inside. Boy, that's Oh. oh, did it stop? Oh, maybe it only rained for a few minutes. Sounds like it's stopping. Oh, maybe it was just one dark cloud blowing by. Oh, come on, dark cloud. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bright sky over there. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, we might still be able to get some stuff done. Oh, wait a minute. I'm definitely going to have to at least wait a few minutes, though. I think that might be just enough time for a mission. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Control to base. Right. Power station is all clear. Headed for now. Yes. 
clear again. All right, what's the, uh, yeah. Okay, 39 noodle units long, two pieces. I should actually make them a tiny bit short because they're gonna connect into here, so they're not gonna, yeah, this'll have a little bit of thickness. So, short 39. Oh, rivets, how I love the, oh, so beautiful. Look at those little guys. Nice work. Oh, and I did put one rivet in each corner, well, on the top and the bottom. Then I measured across this way and across this way to make sure those two measurements are the same, which means it's square, well, rectangle, before I put the second rivets in all the joints. So hopefully that's locked pretty 90 degrees alized. And I checked, I can totally stand on this. I don't need to box two, but those are strong enough as they are. Yeah, so I need two more 39 almost 39 noodle units long to go there and there. I'll have to measure exactly where they go. Okay, where do these things go? I need a precise precise measurement here. Okay, what's the measurement of bearing to bearing? 18, ooh, 18 imperial noodle units. That sounds familiar. Oh, that's exactly what it says in my drawing. I guess I did it right. Great. All right, so I've got a bearing, which is four imperial noodle units. Let's check. Yep, four. Slightly smaller, but that's good. Everything gives me a little more clearance. Yeah. Okay, so I've got four, 18, and then this bar goes somewhere on this. I think I want it to go on, sorry, on this side right here to give more space for the paddle wheel to flap around and not hit the edge so yeah ignore where I drew these lines and just imagine them right here right oh but not right up to the edge of this bearing like I want the screws sticking out so maybe add half a noodle unit, like one centimeter. Okay. Okay, four plus 18 is 22. Let me just double check that, yeah, 22. And then an extra half, 22 and a half noodle units across till I get to that piece there. And then the same in from the other side. And then whatever the middle is. Well, okay, well that looks amazing. Uh, now what do I do?